So I asked her if she thought I would be ready for her services. Her response, she essentially said that I am not ready for her type of services because I have too much work to do. My walls are too high and I'm not ready for a long-term committed relationship at the ripe age of 38 where I've been in therapy for 10 plus years. <laughs> she also said that I need to soften a little bit and men like a softer woman. Essentially, I spent $350 to meet with this woman, have her tell me I am not worthy of love as I am, but the fact that I need to change in order to be worthy of love and partnership. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Once told that women lose their value after 30. It was during a podcast with the late Kevin Samuels, and I argued with him. I got pissed off with him. I <laughs> women. <laughs> <laughs> Let's stop dating medium ugly men in hopes that they will treat us better. Because news flash. They're not. They'll treat you a lot worse because they are jealous of that innate gift that we have as women, that light. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? And let's just add in our sense of humor, our self-resilience, our beauty on top of that. Oh, they can't handle it. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As we approach the end of the year, guys, I have saved the best video of the year for those special dates. So, guys, bring some popcorn, bring your favorite soda or a cold one, and let's get started. Let's stop dating medium ugly men in hopes that they will treat us better. Because newsflash, they're not. They'll treat you a lot worse because they are jealous of that innate gift that we have as women, that light. And let's just add in our sense of humor, our self-resilience, our beauty on top of that. Oh, they can't handle it. They don't know what. Yeah, so a lot of things to be said here. First of women, all of you to assume that women in the first hand date men who are medium to ugly, meaning your average Joes. We don't see that happening, so I don't know who you're talking about. Um, second of, if you really did bring this light upon everybody's life, if you are a blessing to everyone that happens to be in your area, you know, if you are God's gift to every person that approaches you, I don't think that you will be single and that people will be treating you this way what to do and your presence is a reminder of all the qualities that they don't have the only way for them to level the playing field is by taking you down a few notches okay a couple notches down so they're gonna love bomb you they're going to give you all the attention and love that you want but then later they're gonna backpedal and you're always gonna be chasing that high that you had in the beginning because they did a little switcheroo on you the truth is, you're not even attracted to that man anyway, so why are you letting him emotionally abuse you in the first place? You like to play it safe with medium ugly guys because you're afraid of being vulnerable with men that you're actually attracted to because in your mind that would hurt a lot more and it's a lot more scarier to put yourself out of your comfort zone with someone you're physically attracted to or even having to match that level of energy to the person you really want because that requires you to be disciplined and it requires you to shift so you can be in alignment with that man that you really, really want. We're done doing charity. Your charity work is over, sis. No more dating medium ugly guys. Just go after guys that you're attracted to don't worry about playing it safe because playing it safe is basically settling and we're not settling no more. You're not a humanitarian. You can stop the charity. Your work is done. All right, so guys, I just love to be on the side of winners. I love it. And when it comes to truth and, uh, you know, 
trying to pick a side, the best thing you can do is pick the side of reality. Meaning, don't listen to what people say, don't listen to what they blabber on TikTok when they're single in their dark rooms at night, uh, you know, before they cry themselves to sleep. Look at reality, look at what people do, their actions, look at how they, they you know, they change reality. Because this woman can do all the mental gymnastics that she wants, uh, she can say that she is the prize, that she is the light that shines upon this world, she can say whatever she wants. The reality is that she can't keep a man. This is why she is single. It doesn't matter if she goes for the medium ugly or above average guys. The fact of the matter is, you are alone in your 30s. And that speaks more than whatever crap you come here to say to all of us. So, that speaks alone for itself. I don't even need to listen to you. I know that you just don't... You're not the person that you claim to be. You're not really a gift, you're not really a gem, you're a common 304. Done. I was once told that women lose their value after 30. It literally drops in half. I was 29 and I had six months before I turned 30. It was during a podcast with the late Kevin Samuels and I argued with him. I got pissed off with him. I couldn't help but think about what my boyfriend at the time was thinking because he was a huge Kevin Samuels fan. Anyway, today happens to be my 31st birthday. That boyfriend and I broke up. I got over a year of therapy, started doing music, started doing my own nails. My Is someone surprised that the woman who doesn't want to take accountability uh, turned out to not be able to keep a man? And she broke up with her then boyfriend. Is somebody surprised, guys, that this more than independent boss babe couldn't keep a relationship? I'm not. Myself how to sew so I can better my swimsuit company. Started my passion projects of giving back. Honestly, I don't know what value he was referring to. I'm pretty sure it was something about being in the dating marketplace or some bullshit. Let me tell you. Yes, that's what uh, Kevin Samuels was talking about. Good for you that you have your swimsuit uh, project and your companies and you make money. Good for you, bravo, honestly. Clap my hands. Uh, but that's a completely different thing from dating and having a family, okay? Not the same thing. I hope you understand that, you dummy. But the thing is, guys, we just don't have all the time in the world to do multiple things or all the things that we want. We have to sort our time and when it comes to dating, when it comes to raising a family, you have to start at a young age, for women especially, at a younger age, right, because of natural reasons. So you can't have both, madam. All this money you're making, all those projects and you being a boss babe, they will not fill your empty soul when you are 40 years of age, 50 years of age. In your last day on earth, when you're in your deathbed, uh, the money, the money, and all the things that you've done, uh, they will not make you feel any warmer, madam. So you've made your choice, and I respect your your ability to choose. Uh, but then, you know, don't come crying in your forties. Where have all the good men gone? Because you cannot date at thirty. The, yes, Kevin Samuels is correct. You have no value or barely at all. No man will want to take you in with all your baggage, uh, with you being so old, with you being around the block for a couple of years in your modern and independent and liberated era. So yes, it's over. Dating for you is over. Awesome. I don't give a fuck what y'all think about my value because I place value on myself. And for my mm. fellow women out there who are Nobody cares. Nobody cares about your own opinion about yourself. You can kiss your own arse as much as you want. Nobody cares. And nobody takes it. Your words have no value. Guys, I can sit here at home eating Cheetos all day, being extremely overweight, uh, you know, not showering for two weeks, and I can go and say, oh, I give myself a 10 out of 10. I deserve it. Nobody gives a damn what you give yourself. Other people are the judge of that. Your words have no value. It's for other people to decide. And if men deem you not worthy because you're an old hag, you are not worthy. 
Now, you, you date yourself. If you think you're a 10 out of 10, date the mirror, madam. Younger than 30, older than 30, are being told that we exist solely to reproduce. Your value is what you make it. I don't care how old I am. I care about how old I feel, how old I look, and how wise I'm becoming. Because, baby. Let me just say, the wall doesn't, doesn't care about how you feel. It doesn't care about how you think you look. And it certainly doesn't care about your insignificant little expectations. Maybe with age, <laughs> I don't hesitate to set boundaries. I know my worth. The enemy wants you to think otherwise, so you can rush into situations that are not for you. I was rejected by... Yep, she just uncovered us, guys. She uncovered the plan of the enemy. You know, we're trying to lie to these women. Uh, you know, please date us before you get to 30. Because the th 30 guys, women above 30, they hit their peak. The, the more they age, the better they are in the market. Wouldn't you see? Especially when they get to 60, my personal favorite. Uh, but yes, men, you know, we, we try to marry them younger. Uh, because when they become more than an independent at 30, it's over for us. Like guys like us who are below average, they just we just don't have a chance. You know, once women reach 30 and they have the 9 to 5, uh, and they're old and they can barely get any children, that's when they hit their peak value. Yes, absolutely. Enough about this woman. Absolutely dumb. I'll see you at the wall, madam. Uh, but now, guys, finally, the final TikTok the best one of the year, a woman that gets denied services by a matchmaker. Let's find out why. So you can rush into situations that are not for you. I was rejected by a matchmaker this week. You wouldn't be able to work with me. When we met, I told her what I was looking for and told her a lot about me. And I tried to highlight some of my core qualities including the fact that I'm very, very type A, organized, I like to be the leader, I told her the types of things that I like doing. I also told her I was looking- Yeah, pause it, pause it right there. In other words, she's bossy and entitled and you will have to fight with her every day of your life. That's what it means to, she wants to be the leader. For a man who was also a leader because I mm. don't want to always be the leader, believe it or not. Yes, I love when women's true nature comes out. Guys, all these boss babes, an independent woman, and no, no matter how much they talk about how independent they are, you have to know, all of them, deep inside, they just want to be swept off their feet. They just want to be uh, the little princess that gets saved. This is why they want men who are taller. It makes them feel secure and safe and protected. Okay, you can have a, a macho man type of woman, uh, that can deadlift more than you, this woman still will want a taller man because she wants to feel protected. You, you cannot lie to your true nature. You, you cannot lie to biology, all right, and, and human nature. So really funny, guys. It's always so funny when, like, the last two brain cells of these women uh, that stick to traditionalism are, are trying to fight this modern and independent persona that they have created. I told her I was looking for someone that was at or above the same income level as me, driven, who is ambitious, who is ready for a long-term relationship and ready to get married. She may have actually picked up on the fact that I'm a little high strung. I'm not like a stressed out or anxious person. I'm just high energy or type A. This is who I am. And she was asking... Again, just annoying in other words. She cannot stop talking, she cannot stop bossing you around, just annoying, entitled, and bossy. And by the way, this woman is close to 40, really close to 40, you, may, you might say she's already 40, and she goes to a matchmaker and says, I want someone who is ready to marry me, like, tomorrow, it's alright. So we have the usual case of a woman that has been doing nothing but fooling around all her life, jumping from one eggplant to the other, eating all the bananas that she finds, sleeping around, being the town bicycle, and then when she gets to 40, holy shit, I'm 40, I need to have kids, I need someone to marry me right now. And they go to a matchmaker and they pay 
hundreds, sometimes thousands of dollars to make up for their lack of planning. Really funny. Me, do I meditate? No. Do I journal? No. Do anything? Woo. And I said, no. So in fact, I'm not even on the same planet as woo. When talking about what I didn't like in a man, I said I could never really be with a beta type man. I specifically used the word doormat. I said I would chew them up and spit them out. And her response was, well, I married that type of man. She was saying that, you know, men really like a soft woman and I should try some of these vision board, journaling, meditating type of things. Would never be that type of person. She also. Yeah, guys, I'd like to add something. A lot of the times, Yes, there are soft men out there that just get stepped on. But in most of the times, at least from what I've seen, it's not that men are soft. They are just non-confrontational, all right? Men don't want to go to work where they most probably have a boss and then get back home to a second boss, all right? Men don't want that. It's not being soft, right? It's just me not wanting to argue with my quote-unquote significant other for all the hours that I have free time in my day, that's not being soft. That's just, I don't want a pain in the neck. I don't want a pain in the butt. And if you happen to be that woman, no, you're not going to chew me up or whatever. I, I can probably deadlift your weight. You you're you're probably 5'5", five five, all right? You're not intimidating. It's just you're annoying and men just flee from you also said that she could sense I had some walls up, which, of course, I'm coming to meet a woman who I'm asking to find my future husband at the rate of several thousand dollars. I, of course, am going to be here really just trying to interview you, my dear friend, because I want to know if I'm going to get my money's worth with you. So, of course, I'm going to have some walls up. I also think it's perfectly normal to have some walls up when you are meeting before she continues with her walls up, which interestingly enough, she talks about the wall, uh, which she has smashed into it, all right? She doesn't understand the walls that she should have been worried about. Uh, but going back to my point, it's, guys, it's so hilarious that a woman is ready to pay thousands of dollars to find a man. It really shows how high their expectations are, because women... To find a man, they don't need a penny. They, they just need to shower. They don't even need makeup. They don't need makeup. They don't need to be this grand new thing. They don't need to stick out. No, they can be absolutely average. And just by taking a shower here and there, they can find multiple men. <laughs> like When women say that they have to pay thousands of dollars to find a man, absolutely hilarious someone for the very first time and who also had not taken the time to do her own research on me by stalking me on the internet she definitely didn't have time because she asked for my socials no more than one hour before our meeting so I asked her if she thought i would be ready for her services her response she essentially said that i am not ready for her type of services because i have too much work to do my walls are too high and i'm not ready for a long-term committed relationship at the ripe age of 38 where i've been in therapy for 10 plus years she also said that i she's too woo for me which i can accept that that's fine however i shouldn't need to be a woo type person to be worthy of love she also said that i need to stop All right, stop it right there I love this matchmaker. I don't know her, but I love her. Now, I don't know how exactly matchmaking works. Uh, isn't it better for a matchmaker to just get your money and, uh, right, if you don't find a man, you just pay more until you find him. And because this woman will never find him, she'll just spend tens of thousands of dollars. I don't know exactly how it works. Maybe this uh, matchmaker prioritizes her work and her reputation rather than money. Uh, but she just declined a couple of thousands of dollars just because she knows that this woman is impossible to find a partner for, right? This is coming from a professional who this is her job, just matching people, uh, you know, matching mostly women's expectations, right? And she just looks at this and says, it's impossible. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> that, that, that's what happens. You know, these women guys, uh, they, they go around the block, they have their fun, they prioritize work over, over families, 
they prioritize themselves over men. Uh, you know, they, they go through their 10 years of therapy because of all the baggage that chats have created, you know, and they show up at 40. Hi, I just come from my 10 years of therapy. Now I'm sane, uh, you know, now my, you know, the 300 eggplants I've sat on uh, don't matter anymore. So uh, why don't you wife me up at 40? Because I need to have a, a kid by tomorrow uh, to even have a chance. Absolutely pathetic. This matchmaker... Bravo. She, she just told on this woman. Soften a little bit. And men like a softer woman. Essentially, I spent $350 to meet with this woman. Have her tell me I am not worthy of love as I am, but the fact that I need to change in order to be worthy of love and partnership. Which honestly, I think for that reason alone, she should have her matchmaking license taken away because we shouldn't be pushing on these narratives that people are not worthy as they are. And essentially... Oh, really bitter there, eh? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, all people are worthy. What a bullcrap narrative. All right, madam. Uh, you want to find a partner, right? Go and date the homeless person under the bridge near your house. Why? Why not? I mean, all people are worthy, you say. It's impossible for a person to not be worthy of love. All right, go date him. What's the problem? You know, of course we are worthy or not worthy. You're not entitled to a top one percentage of men while being the most low value common 304 out there. Telling women that they, the type of woman they are isn't worthy of love. That is a narrative that should not be given to anyone or it is dangerous commentary. And the fact that she said this to my face had some audacity. Well, we're celebrating my 38th birthday tonight and we are gonna wash all of what she said aside. I am so excited. And we're going to believe that no matter the type of woman you are, love is out there for you. We are not going to listen to this toxic. Okay, so the video ends right here. I think I haven't seen that much coping. Oh, all the coping I've seen throughout the year doesn't amount to the coping I've seen in the last minute. Uh, also, is this the after makeup effect? You know, some people have said on my comments that uh, they like to watch the before and after makeup to see the difference. Guys, is this the after makeup absolutely unattractive woman uh, not one attractive thing about her and you know you know what boils my blood well not literally because i couldn't care less but you know kind of frustrating and funny at the same time is that men they need to be this they need to be that they need to be six feet tall we want them to be equally us or more rich than ourselves uh, we want them to be alphas we want them to have a jawline we want them this and that and yada 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 a thousand expectations for men coming from women who look like witches but then guys the moment and this is not a man the moment another woman tells this one uh well at the age of 40 and being independent and bossy and annoying and uh you know having this attitude i don't think that you'll find a man we lose our crap we just lose our heads you know like, men, we have to do a thousand and one things uh, to be, you know, for the likes of these women. But the moment you tell them, hey, if you date at 40 and you look like an old hag and 400 people have been between your legs and you come with baggage and 10 years of therapy that clearly don't work, you, you don't have value on the market. They lose it. Absolutely fantastical way, guys, to spiritually close off the year 2023. Let me tell you, the next year, it will be even worse. We all know that, right? These women, guys, they will become more and more entitled as time passes by, and they won't find what they're looking for. So, hey, maybe next year we'll find this woman celebrating her 39th birthday. So, I'll be here for that. I'll be here for the tears. I'll be here for the whining. I'll be here for the complaining. To have a little la laugh with you, ladies and gentlemen, because these are the consequences of your own actions. And honestly, they're quite hilarious. So thank you for watching, guys. Leave me your comments down below. Leave me all your thoughts. And I hope that you have a really good time this year, this upcoming year. Thank you for watching.